Joe Rogan mocks Prince Harry in new comedy special amid COVID controversy. In a recent Netflix comedy special titled, Burn the Boats, comedian Joe Rogan took aim at Prince Harry, responding to the Duke of Sussex's public concerns regarding alleged COVID misinformation disseminated through Rogan's podcast, The Joe Rogan Experience. The 57-year-old former, Fear Factor, host recounted a humorous incident involving the prince, igniting a wave of commentary from fans and critics alike. During his stand-up routine, Rogan reminisced about a time when he unexpectedly woke up to Prince Harry discussing him on television. I'm in my underwear, I plop down, turn the TV on, and Prince Harry's talking st about me, he said, setting the stage for his playful mockery. Rogan then imitated Harry's British accent, saying, he's like, Joe Rogan is giving out dangerous vaccine misinformation. And my first thought was, fk. Did I? This light-hearted jab highlighted the absurdity of the situation from Rogan's perspective. The comedy special took a more imaginative turn as Rogan envisioned what it would be like to consume psychedelics with Prince Harry. Could you imagine doing mushrooms with Prince Harry, he mused, building a comedic narrative around the idea of sharing a mind-altering experience with a member of the royal family. He detailed the sensations associated with the onset of a mushroom trip, humorously portraying a scenario where he would confront the prince about vaccine safety while Harry was in a vulnerable state. Rogan's comments come in the wake of ongoing tensions between him and the Sussexes, particularly regarding his controversial stance on COVID-19 vaccinations. In April 2021, Rogan stirred significant backlash when he suggested that healthy young people did not need the vaccine, remark that drew criticism from public health officials and sparked concern from Harry and his wife, Meghan Markle. The couple subsequently expressed their discontent with Spotify, the platform hosting Rogan's podcast, citing worries about the spread of misinformation during a global health crisis. In a statement issued by the Sussexes, they emphasized their continued efforts to address the perceived public health crisis fostered by misinformation on Spotify. We have continued to express our concerns to Spotify to ensure changes to its platform are made to help address this public health crisis, the statement read, underscoring the seriousness of their concerns amidst Rogan's comedic take on the matter. The fallout from Rogan's comments has been substantial, with several high-profile artists like Neil Young and Joni Mitchell removing their music catalogues from Spotify in protest of what they deemed harmful rhetoric. Despite the controversies surrounding him, Rogan secured a lucrative $250 million deal with the streaming giant, underscoring the polarizing nature of his platform. As Rogan's special continues to circulate, the clash between him and Prince Harry highlights an ongoing cultural conversation around celebrity influence, public health, and the responsibilities of media figures in the age of misinformation. While Rogan's comedic approach may have entertained some, it also reignites discussions about the impact of celebrity opinions on public perception and health behaviors. As of now, the Duke and Duchess of Sussex have not issued an official response to Rogan's latest remarks. However, the incident serves as a reminder of the contentious intersection between comedy, celebrity culture, and serious public health issues in today's media landscape. As both sides navigate the ongoing dialogue, Fans and commentators alike will be watching closely to see how this saga unfolds in the spotlight of public scrutiny.